this sample problem. Write a thermal chemical equation to represent the exothermic reaction that occurs when two moles of butane burn in excess oxygen gas. The molar enthalpy of combustion of butane is negative 2,871 uh, 2, kilojoules per mole. So what we want to do is we want to start off with our balanced chemical equation. Right? So now the key though is we're being told that we've got two moles of butane. So we want to make sure that when we balance this equation that this remains as is right? to, to show us the two moles of, um, of butane. Now what we have here is we have this um, this molar enthalpy, right, our delta H of a combustion reaction being equal to minus 2,871 kilojoules per mole. Now, thing is though, we can use one of two things, one of two strategies, right? Remember this equation here, delta H is equal to N multiplied by delta H of whatever the reaction is, right? The reaction is combustion. So we're gonna take this value multiplied by N to give us our delta H. However, another way you can do it is, well, here's this value based on, right, with this equation, right? But this is the combustion of butane. It's the molar enthalpy of butane, which means this is represented only by one mole of butane, not two moles. So to show two moles, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this value here and we're gonna multiply it by two. Or in other words, we're gonna substitute our N value here by two and this delta H of the reaction by negative 2,871 kilojoules per mole. And we're gonna get a uh, delta H our delta H uh, of the following to being minus 5,742 kilojoules. Now, that's not it, right? The question says, write a thermal chemical equation. So a thermal chemical equation includes, right, includes this balanced chemical equation. But because our value is a negative value, right, for our delta H, this means that our reaction is exothermic, which means because it's an exothermic reaction, this value is gonna be on the side of the products. So to write this thermochemical equation, it's gonna look as follows, 2C4, H uh, 10 and it's a gas reacting with 13 moles of oxygen gas. Remember, don't forget to include the states of matter to produce eight moles of carbon dioxide gas plus 10 moles of water liquid and we're gonna include plus 5,742 kilojoules. Notice how we are not referring to it as kilojoules per mole, because if we looked at this equation here, right, two moles, kilojoules per mole, moles divide out, and all we're left with are kilojoules. Now, notice here, we also put it down as a plus when we are writing thermochemical equations, we show the positive negative value by de depending on which side of the reaction we're actually going to write this on. If we write this delta H on this side of the reaction, it's exothermic. Right? If we write it on this side, right, uh, it would be considered endothermic. So in terms of this reaction here, uh, the combustion of butane 
is an exothermic reaction because this uh, amount of heat will be released.